Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are going to be going through a few different builds that I actually find kind of interesting that are on the workshop currently. So this is the one that we are starting with. This is a Douglas DC-3 and uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take off, fly it around. Uh, and then maybe attempt to land it or something like that and then we'll switch to a different creation and we'll go through a few things with that Anyway, let's get on with it. Shall we? Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and jump inside of this thing and uh, I do want to say before this actually starts uh, If you guys do actually like videos like this one then let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you guys want to see next But anyway, let's go ahead and close this door get to the front and I guess we'll just take off I haven't really read the instructions. I probably should so uh, let me go ahead and do that uh, And then we'll actually try and take off. Okie dokie. Well, I've managed to do something so that's good Let's go ahead and uh, take off I guess Hot diggity dog! Alright, that was... <laughs> that was not an amazing takeoff, I'm not gonna lie. But honestly, we are in the sky. <laughs> so, so that's good. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and lift up the landing gear. I don't think we've broken anything on board the plane. Uh, it's just, it wasn't a very good takeoff. And, and that's okay, that is actually completely fine. Um, something that you will actually see on this plane is, if we do a maneuver, uh, you guys will see that the wings do weird things. Alright, so we're doing a maneuver. Alright, let's go ahead and roll. Oh wait, it's not actually doing it this time. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so when I flew this before, I have had a little test of this thing. Uh, the wings sort of just collapsed. <laughs> uh, and that wasn't amazing, so yeah. But uh, this time, the wings aren't collapsing, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. This is actually one of my favorite planes as well. The DC-3 is... it's sick. I actually really, really like it. Okie dokie, so I guess what we should actually do is attempt to land this thing because that's what planes do. They take up and then they land and that is pretty much all they need to do, especially if it's a DC-3. So let's go ahead and, oh yeah, look at the wing, look at the wings, look at the wings. Whoa, <laughs> they're so weird, they're really, really weird. I mean, it looks cool though, but yeah, it's strange. Uh, right, okay, so prop RPM is still all the way down for some reason. Let's go ahead and uh, get our things back on the screen. And we will throttle down so that we can actually land this thing. Okay, awesome. Landing gear needs to go down, so let's go ahead and press 3. There we go, amazing. And see if we can actually land this thing. Alright, ready? Ready? This is looking like we're going in way too fast. To be fair, it looks like we're going in far too fast. But here we go. Ready? Alright, throttle all the way down. Okay, the wings had a little bit of flex there, but that's okay. And we are down on the ground. And that should be it. Okay, amazing. Prop RPM all the way down. Feathering, feathering. Wait, is that the right thing? <laughs> is that the right thing? Oh, no! Ah! Okay, right. Feathering is not what I thought it was. I need to Google that. Oh, I died. Okay, so apparently feathering is somewhat like... It is what I thought it was. I feel like you should be able to put that on and it stops the actual... Engine from pushing you forwards, but um, never mind. Anyway, this thing's actually pretty cool. Let's have a little look around it before we actually move on to the next thing. So, we got ourselves some engines in here. As you guys can see, they're just... Oh, wow. They're actually using the medium engine. They're not using... Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so, the wheel actually folds up into the engine bay, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, same on both sides. Obviously, it is a twin engine plane. Uh, again, that's pretty obvious. We do have a little cargo section in the back, so if you want to store anything in here... You totally can, and then obviously we have a bunch of seats in case you want to transport people. Uh, we then actually have a key button. I don't know what that does. Turn on the master battery. What does what does the key button do? Doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, we have a um, radio section right here, and we've also got well, I don't know what this side is. Um, here there should actually be a door, and there is. All right, cool. I think that's called the, well, like the hamburger door or something like that. Pretty cool. It's actually really really cool. I like it. Anyway, if you guys do actually want to download this, I will, uh, I'll link it down below so you guys can mess around with it. But, um, yeah, there are a few issues with it. Obviously, when we are flying, uh, if you pull a high G maneuver, <laughs> which you shouldn't really be doing in a DC-3, uh, the wings fold. In fact, actually, let's get back in the sky and see if we can introduce some more issues there. Um, this is the toilet, as you guys can see, and that's it. All right, nice. Go ahead and close this up. Close this door. Let's get it in the sky again. And yeah, we'll do some hygiene maneuvers and see what happens. Okie dokie, so this time we actually took off a little bit more normal, uh, which is good. Let's go ahead and lift up our landing gear with three. There we go, amazing. And look at the landing gear mechanism. Just look at that all by itself. That's pretty awesome. 
That's actually really, really cool. I like it. Uh, but anyway, we are flying. Let's go ahead and pull some high G maneuvers and see what happens. Ready? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Do some rolls and stuff. Here we go. Okay, there we go. All right. We're trying to make this plane fail. I don't know why we're doing this, but you know. Look how, like, it's actually pretty agile, isn't it? It is pretty agile to be able to do whatever the heck I was just doing. But yeah. So, oh, there we go. Wing fail, wing fail. Oh, both wings failed. Way there we go. <laughs> so if you do barrel rolls, uh, your DC-3 might fall out the sky. There you go. Nice. Okay, so in no way am I actually saying that this is a bad plane. Because of that, the wing flex is actually a pretty cool idea, especially if you want to do, uh, like, normal flying in this thing. High G maneuvers are not what a DC-3 does, and, um, yeah, that was just for, for fun. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to another thing that we can test out. Let's go. Okie dokie, have you ever wanted to drive a McLaren? Well, uh, you can now in Stormworks, which is interesting. How do I close the door? <laughs> how, do, how do I close this door? Does anybody know? Uh, oh, there oh, there it is. Okay, good. Awesome. It's probably how I would manage to close the door in real life too. I'd probably have issues. But anyway, this is the car. It's a McLaren 600LT, which is awesome. It actually says on the license plate right there, which is pretty cool. Uh, how do I start this thing? How do we actually start the, the whole thing? How do we start the thing? Where's the engine crank? I don't... I... Oh, there it is. Okay, it's on the left-hand side. Interesting. I drive cars where the, uh, the driver's seat is on that side, so that makes sense. Uh, we have a GPS in this thing. That's pretty awesome. We have a hook. Oh, wow. That looks very much like a, uh, a 90s game, but still. All right, we are going for it. Hot diggity dog. I think it's in automatic mode right now, which is pretty awesome. We have an e-brake, so if I want to drift it... Oh no, not if I want to drift it. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> it just stops the car, interestingly enough. Uh, we can actually go around racetracks with this thing. Oh, there we go, that's a sick drift. Hot diggity dog. Wow, okay, right, awesome. So, there is actually a really, really interesting feature about this car. Now, you might notice, it doesn't have a roof. Well, if we go ahead and we stop... Whoa, what just happened? We get a little bit of a bump there. But if we stop, and we go ahead and we press 3... You guys will see that this thing is actually a convertible. Look at that. Our head, uh, our hair goes through the roof, but that's awesome. That is actually pretty sick. I like it. All right. Okay. So drift it around the corner if we can. Oh, there we go. I couldn't get it into slide mode, but we did eventually, which is pretty awesome. I don't know whether these things are four-wheel drive or not. I'm really not sure about McLarens. Uh, and I don't know whether they've done it in this game anyway, so there you go. I'm assuming it's rear-wheel drive, but I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. We've obviously got a roof that retracts and stuff, which is really, really cool. Uh, and yeah, I just really like it. Let's do a jump. Let's do a, a sick jump here. Okay, that... <laughs> That was less than sick. That was actually pretty awful. <laughs> um, but honestly, it's actually really, really cool. If we have a little look at the outside of it while we're here, uh, you guys will see that it's actually got the McLaren lights on the back. We've got the McLaren logo somewhat put on there. It is just just, just that. <laughs> it says McLaren, but that's good. Um, and yeah, the lights, the decals, it's actually really, really awesome. I like it. Even the lights on the front, they look sick. And if we go in the driver's seat and we turn it on, the lights actually somewhat work, which is amazing. Also, the one thing that I didn't show you guys, frunk. It's got a frunk! Look at that! That's sick! That's amazing! Alright, so I guess what we'll actually do now is... I want to see how fast we can actually get this thing going on the multiplayer island runway. So let's get to the end of it and we'll see how fast we can actually make this thing go. Hopefully we can get it to max speed, but I'm... I'm skeptical. I am skeptical. Okay, I did not mean to do that, and I don't think there's a way for me to get it back on. <laughs> okay, we need a new one. Okie dokie, if everybody's ready, let's go ahead and get into first person. We'll actually put the roof up, because it's a little bit more aerodynamic, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. We actually have a cool spoiler on the back of this thing, too. Look at that. That spoiler looks amazing on the rear. But anyway, let's go. Let's go, let's floor it. We're in first person. We're at 130, 140, 170, 190, 200... 210, 215, 16, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, 223, I'm assuming miles an hour, but I'm not sure, possibly kilometers an hour, and woohoo, <laughs> amazing, nice, oh yeah, and we can actually see from there, it is, uh, it's, it's all-wheel drive, I think, 
It looks like it's all-wheel drive. Interesting. Nice. Okie dokie. So I thought we would actually do something quite large on this uh, on this video as well. And this thing right here is called the SS Sheldon Likes. Uh, which is kind of interesting. Apparently this thing is actually scaled down a little bit, I do believe. Uh, we're going to run straight down into the engine room and possibly turn the engines on. Now it is worth mentioning, I haven't actually tested this thing before, so yes, I don't know. Key button, I'm assuming that's for the, the fire suppression system. Or the, uh, the fire fighting system, I should say. And while being down here, I don't actually see a way of turning the engines on. Cool engine room, though. Right, okay, let's get up to the top then, and uh, we'll see if we can actually get this thing moving. Let's go. Alright, up the back end. Let's go. Nice. Uh, in the crew cabins? Uh, I guess this is fine. Cabin? No, actually. Outside. We need to go upstairs. We need to go upstairs in here. There we go. Alright, this is the bridge. Let's get inside. There we go. Amazing. Uh, and see if we can turn everything on from up here. Wheelhouse lights, ignition, there we go, uh, that's good, and we are actually good to go. Alright, ready? Full throttle, let's go! Oh, it looks sick, it actually looks really, really cool. Nice, alright, and off we go. Awesome, look at those cranes all over it, there is cranes literally all over this thing. It's so stable too. Oh, diggity dog, nice. Okay, so I guess uh, what matters in this is whether it can actually hold the weather or whether it can actually deal with the weather. So, let's go ahead and turn the wind to 50% and we'll see how it deals with that. There we go. Alright, so it's actually... It does get pushed around a little bit, but it is okay. Yeah, okay, so this is at 50% wind and uh, we are actually a-okay. Let's change the wind direction to be completely the opposite way around, I guess. There we go, so it's actually pointing back towards us. Amazing. Uh, and is it still moving forwards, is the question. Yes, it is. Nice. Yeah, no, this is this is dealing with these waves completely fine. Amazing. All right, so now we're at 100% waves, and this is now what it deals with the waves like. And to be honest with you, uh, as long as it doesn't actually sink, uh, I'm assuming that this is actually fine, so that's good. There we go. Bump over there, why not? And uh, yeah, you know what? It's okay. It is actually a okay. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I think we should have a quick little look around though. So let's do that while the waves are going. Why not? Okie dokie. So this is the bridge. Obviously we have a, a little seat right here if we want to sit down and look at the battery and the fuel. Uh, we can then go and sit in the back if we want to. And then we've got the captain's helm, obviously. Uh, if we go this way, we've got the crew cabins. This is the captain's cabin. Oh, this is actually pretty cool looking. Yeah, I wouldn't mind sleeping in here. This is cool. All right, what is this? This is the mate's cabin. Nice. All right, right in the front of the ship. Uh, of the superstructure, I should say. What is this room? This room doesn't actually have a door, but it's it looks the, the nicest. Oh, this isn't a room. <laughs> this is a room. This is like the... Uh, what, what would you call it? Like the living room, I guess. I don't know. The lounge. There you go. That's what you'd call it. Uh, what else is actually in here? We got a head, which is the toilet, the bathroom. If we go downstairs, what else do we have? Have a little look down here. Turn the lights on. Yes. Uh, this looks like the uh, the galley, I guess, is where you eat. There we go. Uh, and this is the kitchen and stuff. This is awesome. Wow, the kitchen's huge. Oh, diggity dog. If we go backwards, we've obviously got the cabins as well for the normal people. <laughs> for the normal people. And uh, yeah, that's actually pretty sick. Nice. All right, if we go backwards from here, we actually end up at the back of the ship where I don't believe there's anything actually in here. Also, the ship is listing massively. <laughs> the ship is literally tipping over right now because no one's at the helm. It's on its side. It's legitimately on its side. Oh, diggity, help me. What the heck? All right, let's get to the bridge. <laughs> by, oh, no. I was going to say by walking down the side of the ship, but honestly, it's probably not a good idea. I can't get up there. We need to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me back on the boat. I need to get into the helm. That's that's all I'm looking to do here. Up the ladder. All right, get in the helm. Here we go. Oh God. Okay, cool. We're gonna stop this boat from moving. Here we go. Stop the ship. Good. Hot oh, diggity dog. Wow, that's crazy. The wind is like literally beating this thing up. Hot oh, diggity dog. Nice. All right. Well, I mean, I think I've pretty much shown you guys all the way around this thing. So let's go ahead and move on to something else, shall we? And here it is. This is Sawyer Island Ultralight. And actually, it looks pretty sick, to be fair. It's actually really, really small. 
Uh, we are going to go ahead and turn the engine on, and I believe we'll just take off. <laughs> I think this is how it's going to work. Um, maybe. Hold on. Landing lights, navigation lights, altitude, interior lights. All right, is there a breaker somewhere that I need to flick on? Yes, there is. Um... Oh, there we go. All right, cool. I was using the collective. Interesting. All right, okay. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves into the sky. Oh! <laughs> that was so close. Uh, we are actually flying this thing around. Okay, amazing. It looks sick. It actually looks really, really cool. Uh, obviously, it is... It's... Wait. Yeah, it's going to be using, like, not very much fuel, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, it actually looks... It looks all right. It is capable of carrying, what, three people? We got the the pilot, and then we've got two passenger seats. That's awesome. Uh, there's the ship down there that we uh, we were testing out before, uh, and I think a good test for an ultralight might be to land on it. It might be to land on that ship, and I think it is. So I think I might try. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn the brakes on, and we'll try and land on the ship. Why not? Okie dokie, so we're actually going to go in for a landing here. This is uh, my first landing attempt ever in this plane, so. Uh, it might be difficult to do, but we'll see. Alright, here we go. Okay, it pretty much stalls out instantly, so that's that's a thing. Alright, here we go. I mean that was good. <laughs> I can't really uh I can't really control it very well. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh it's it seems kinda hard to control, but it might be just because it's so light. Also, it doesn't make any noise. It makes, it makes no noise. That's crazy. Alright, here we go. Turn the engine on again. Throttle all the way up to full. Turn the wheel brakes off. And go. Alright, here we go. I've turned the gyro on this time. And yeah, it just it's just a little bit difficult to control, that's all. That's okay, right? That's fine. Yeah. You know what I did, actually? I turned altitude hold on, and obviously that is, that's like counterintuitive, because I was trying to fly the plane as well. And that's not a good idea. <laughs> It's really not a good idea. So let's go ahead and turn ourselves back around. Uh, we'll fly back towards our target that we are going to try and land on once again. There we go. Turn the... Yeah, you know what? You know what? It's... It's... Uh, it's not supposed to be agile, and I understand that. Um, but it is kind of hard to... To fly. Well, it's not hard to fly. It just... Uh, it's not quick enough to do things. So I guess what I would say is, if you guys want to fly this, be very careful with it. <laughs> Just be careful with it, okay? Alright, here we go. We're going to take off again. It's so weird that it's not making any noise. Also, when it takes off, it likes to fly sideways. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with you. I am done with you. Hot diggity dog. Alrighty, and the last thing I actually want to check out today is this thing. It's been like a little while since this has actually been uploaded onto the workshop. Um, when I say a little while, it's actually been like a week or two, uh, or maybe even, it's like less than a month, I do believe. Um, but yeah, this thing actually looked pretty sick, and I wanted to try it out, so let's just do it in this video, I guess. We have the Gef, Gefar, Gefar on the back, <laughs> search and rescue, uh, Bund Bundeshin, Bundeshir, Bundeshir. Interesting. Uh, and yeah, it's a little helicopter that we should be able to fly around. So, let's go ahead and get inside. Close the door if we... Where's the handle? Oh, it's this. Go around the other side. Hang on. Alright, here we go. Close the door. Epic. Right, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on, shall we? Uh, we have the position lights and stuff like that. We have the door. Altitude hole parking lights door. How do I turn this on? Engine starter. There we go. Main rotor brake. Is that default on or off? I'm assuming off. Alright, okay, ready? Let's go. Oh, yeah. No, this is sick. Alright, cool. Cool. Nice. Uh, and let's go. We can actually fly out to that ship and uh, land on it with this thing instead. Because that makes more sense. Yeah. This thing does appear to be very slow. I'm not going to lie. It, it does appear to be very, 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 very slow. But that's okay, I guess. It is. It's completely fine. Uh, that boat right there that is actually traveling towards our boat. I don't know whether we can land on that instead. Because uh, it does look like a kind of a cool boat. But uh, let's keep going forwards. 
And we'll see if it is one that we can land on. I think it'll be too small. To be honest with you, I think it'll be too small. Let's have a little look. Yeah. Um, but maybe not, I guess. We could try. We could definitely try and land on it. But I don't think there's much of a point, to be fair. But I guess we could try. Oh, let's just do it. Let's just try and land on this boat. Let's do it. Here we go. So we're going to go forwards. Yes. We're going to lower ourselves down. Yes. Okay. We're going to have the tail rotor sort of like sticking off the back. Because I think that makes um, some sense. Okay. And we're going to put ourselves on the deck of this boat. Let's do it. There we go. Okay. Interestingly enough, we are actually on a boat. <laughs> We've landed! Guys, we did it! The parking brake's on! There we go. Turn the engine off. Jump out. Let's go. Hot diggity dog. Alright, cool. So, yeah, as for looks of this thing, I actually think it looks pretty sick. I don't think it uses any modded windows except maybe that one on the front. That one definitely is, I think. Is it? Yes, that one is. Uh, but the rest of them actually seem like normal windows, and uh, yeah, that's actually pretty awesome. Um, it's slow, though. It is very slow. But anyway, uh, this video is just to show off a few creations. Not very, like, much of the creations. Uh, just so that you guys can actually see that they are out there. And um, I'm going to link them all down below so you guys can check them all out. Including this one. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy videos like this one. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see more videos like this one, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see what I can do. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.